Yeah, that was quick. Yeah, yes, uh, I said such a great run from his filly. You know, she's been winning over 1600 and uh, coming back to 1200. Uh, I thought I'm going to ride her quick and try and keep her up there because, you know, she's not going to quicken up like the sprinters. But she was totally outpaced uh, from being two lengths behind, four lengths behind, six lengths behind. But I could only ride her according to how she was traveling. And then when they started stopping, she picked her up. So it was great to find the gaps and to run second. Yeah, thanks for that. That's us here, Pamler and Bapir Stradum. An absolute cracker in second. Thank you very much, MJ. We'll wait for the winning rider, Raymond Danielson. On number three, October Morn, the three-year-old Bay Philly, the daughter of Trippy, out of the Varme, Miss October. Now a four-time winner from nine starts. Well done to the Oven Team, Thoroughbred Farm. Of course, to Mr. Avery as well, to Pippa Micklebra and her entire team uh, out at Oven Team. They'll be very happy with October Morn's performance today. Congratulations to Candace Bass Robinson. They are very happy, I can tell you that. I was watching closely as this horse managed to get some luck at the 300-meter marker. They were super excited, and she showed that turn of foot that we've seen in her last few starts. So Raymond will come to me any moment now. He's just getting his presentation done and uh, receiving the gifts. Uh, Well-deserved, Raymond Danielson. He doesn't often get rides from Candace Bass Robinson. Uh, but since Raymond's come to the Western Cape, he's taken every opportunity with both hands. And here he is to win the Cartier Scepter Stakes, the grade two event that was over 1,200 meters. Okay, so I'm just going to have a peep and see where Raymond is. He's just having a word to Candace Bass Robinson at the moment. Uh, well done to Mr. Avery. I know he is at the races today as well to enjoy this meeting. And uh, you'll be very happy that October Morn's now become a four-time winner. Finally got some luck, and here we go. Here's Raymond Danielson, the man of the moment. Well done, Ray. We're going to take a slow walk through this big crowd. Uh, you've given her a peach of a ride, I must say. She's obviously been a horse that's had no luck in her last few starts. Uh, but today you must have been licking your lips at the three because you got a smooth run and a great run. She's given you that turn of foot that we've seen as well. Yeah, look, when I got offered the ride, I was licking my lips. Uh, I thought this was a, actually a very, very good ride in this race with the, with the weights and everything. And now that she's going 1,200, um, just suits her a little bit better. Um, at home, she's quite a fasty filly. She's keen, but at races, she's completely different. She jumps out and she doesn't really help you, uh, but she waits. As soon as I got into a little bit of trouble uh, on the inside, I got pushed onto hills while well, the horse next to me and that actually helped me because uh, it pushed me towards where there was a gap. It was a little tight gap, but if she didn't quicken, she was never going to make the gap. But uh, the way she quickened, that's the reason why I got through the gap and she just won such a good race. Raymond, you've beaten some hard knockers and there's obviously horses in behind you, Mrs. Geriatrics. I mean, they're all proven horses. Um, what sort of feel does she give you? She's going to go on from you. I know she does need luck. She needs something to pull her through, but can she win a grade one? Is that a big task? Well, I think so. Uh, I think she's affiliate still on the up, to be honest. Uh, you can feel there's still lots more to come from her. She, she did a little weaken at the end, but I think it was more greenness than anything else. There was a horse coming out at the end, but she's just so professional. Such a nice horse to ride. When you ask her to quicken, she quickens, and she quickens against very good uh, fillies, like you say. So, yeah, she can definitely pull off a group one. Well, Raymond, you've won a grade two this afternoon, so you've still got many more rides to come. I'm sure you're looking forward to that. Well done over here. Yeah, thank you so much. I think it's my first winner for, for Canis Bass to, to win a group two for. Thank you very much to her in the whole yard. Obviously, Gareth, the Aldo, to everyone that works, does all the hard work there. Um, and to Tyron, to all of them, just a big thank you. And then to the owners, thank you for riding me and uh, to my sponsors winning form. Well done, Ray. Thank you. There we go, Raymond Danielson, the winning jockey. All right, I'm going to get you back to Vicky, who's standing by with the winning connections. Thank you very much, Brandon. Number three, October Morn, the daughter of Trippy bred by Aventure Thoroughbred Farm and David Avery, who owns her outright. But Candice Bess Robinson is the condition, and Candice Wells is the win. Thank you, Vicky. With regards to the filly in the parade ring, I thought that she has matured. Has she shown that in her work? Yeah, Vicky, look, she's a lovely filly. She's a very scopey filly. Um, I thought I had her particularly well today. Um, and looking at her in the parade ring, normally she can be a little bit sweaty and a bit joggy, but she looked a picture today. You know, she's been very unlucky her last two starts. She just hasn't really gotten a run. And, uh, you know, she probably could have won one of those other future races as well, if not both. So she came into the race, um, Vicky, as I said, in a good place today. Obviously, it was, was an easy race today. It was a, it's a much tougher race than what she was in last, last time. And again, a big field, so I was just hoping that she would get a run today. I, I know Raymond did have a, a small moment where he thought he might not, but uh, I think he won a very good race on her today. Rode her very well, and a uh, super winner. David is out here today, and uh, you know he's got the whole family. That's a fantastic family to have, and 
you know, to, to get some more black type. And obviously, I think he's going to. The next question will be, are we going to be able to get some Group One black type? So <laughs> that's going to be the more the next pressure that I step out here with. But I think she's a lovely filly and a super win today. And thanks to David, obviously, just for sending the filly in and to Avantu for breeding her. Um, and then just to my whole team, obviously, in a day like this to have a good win, this is always a bonus. And uh, they put a lot of hard work in home, all of them. And so thanks to everybody and obviously to everybody at uh, Law Morant's beautiful day. Today always has been and always will be, I think. And uh, thanks to everybody involved. Well done, Candice. Thank you. I can please ask you, you can, Sophie's going to hand over. I'm just going to step back. If Sophie can please hand over the prices from Cartier. Candice. <laughs> <laughs> has won this race very often. If you could just stand for a photo. Oh wait, let, let me take this for you. There you go. You can stand for a photo with regards to where the Cartier Scepter Stakes was won by Candice. Well done, Candice. Next up, David Avery's going to come across and chat to me in relation to uh, owning October Morn and Park Breeder. Well done. Thank you very much, Vicky. Thank you. She's, I think, I can't say she's been frustrating but often finds a little bit of uh, sort of misfortune in the race today. It's the type of race you want to win. Absolutely. After she changed hands and I owned her 100%, she had two very unlucky runs at Durbanville. But today I thought again for a second there's a wall of horses, but I've got to thank Raymond for the way he brought her around and just let her go. And she showed that turn of foot. What does it feel like to lead her into the winner's box? Well, I've... <sighs> She's a fantastic Billy, but I'm also involved in the mare who I raced. So I'm, I'm really attached to her. It feels fantastic. And it's been a lot of work with the whole team, Candice. Thank you, Raymond, today. Pippa, uh, Aventier, everybody involved. It's been a journey. It's been fantastic. <laughs> fantastic indeed. Well, That's why I gave her a kiss. <laughs> The Philly, the Philly, I mean, yeah. Very good. Well, well done for the win. Thank you, thank you. If you can please accept, uh, Sophie's going to hand over your prize from Cartier, so thank you very much. If you could just stand for a photo, if you don't mind, the photographer's going to get to... Uh, you. Oh, there you. <laughs> And then, uh, David, if you can please... Sorry, Dave, you've got another... So if you can just hand over the trophy. And then you've got to go for another photo. You go, smile again. You can't win grade two races and not stand for the photos. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. Thank you very much, David. There you go. And then Pippa Mickleborough from Aventure Thoroughbred Farm is going to come across. Pippa, lovely to chat to you again. Thanks, Vicky. 100% um, well done to David. You know, when we bought the farm out, it was a very sad day for me because from a breeding perspective, it's what we need, but I do understand. Got the mayor with him. So happy and proud for him. But well done to Candace and the whole team and to Raymond. When I saw that wall of horses with Mel, I just couldn't believe it. I thought, why are there so many runners? But anyway, he deserved the group win, and um, I'm now going to go and have a glass of champagne. I'm done. Well deserved. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Well done, Pippa. If, so if you could please hand over the last prize and uh, in relation to the Felicia's Bread in partnership with David Avery. <laughs> there you go, you got a photo on your, your right-hand side, so well done. Thank you very much, Sophie. <laughs> Thank you. With regards to number three, October Morn, uh, as mentioned, elated uh, David Avery as the owner and part breeder. The daughter of Trippy won an impressive race and uh, almost got stuck behind those wall of horses that Pippa touched on. So well done to all the connections as well as Caddis vs. Robinson and Raymond Danielson for a cool and calm ride. it and do that little thing back home you know with this prize money from Hollywood bets 1,000 Rand and tell me how long have you been working for Miss Candace for? Uh, 11 years. Wow you are certainly part of the furniture Mr. Asa. you are an asset and major major congratulations there's 1,000 Rand from Hollywood bets and because this is a future race you are also our Kaya Stables star groom Major congratulations, you get an extra 5,000 Rand from Kaya Stables. Mr. Asa, congratulations on winning the grade two race number four and now on to race number five.